Hello and welcome. I think uh, many a times students come and they ask how and what to do about technical interviews. Technical interviews are used to assess candidates for specialist positions, especially um, I'm talking about IT, engineering and science. So uh, technical interviews play a very important role and what is that you should prepare and what is that you should cover. Let's try and understand as to what technical interviews are and how we can prepare so uh, we'll try our best efforts to put in uh, with the right example so that concept of technical interview comes to you with the right understanding uh, they feature questions that are specific to the role you have applied for so that the employer can confirm you have the requisite skills often they include brain teaser questions numerical reasoning problems or logic test so interviewers are not just interested in technical knowledge, although that is very important. Technical means you coming from maybe an IT or a technical background or a science background, whichever background that you're coming in, commerce for that matter or arts for that matter. I think your domain knowledge is your domain knowledge. But what technical interviews also entail other than your domain knowledge is that it gives the brain teaser questions, numerical reasoning and logic test as well. They are interested in technical knowledge, but also how candidates approach problems, construct their thought process and demonstrate personal skills such as communication. So it, it, is, it revolves everything in and around communication, how you are able to express your technical thoughts. So what are employees actually looking for? The technical skills an employer is looking for will depend on the role in question itself. The job specification will give a good indication of the skill set they expect. So it's a good place to start when thinking about uh, what you might be asked in the interview. The employer will of course be assessing your technical ability and your understanding of the industry to ensure you will be able to do the job. But they will also be looking at how you got to your answers so your process and your methodology being process focused is what we are going to address here they will also be analyzing how articulate you are when presenting your findings and whether you can apply the technical problems to a real situation in the workplace so example of technical interview questions and answers could be in a technical interview an employer might show a candidate a wiring diagram or a line of a computer code for example and uh, and expect instant analysis so anything could be given to you if it's a marketing role they would give you uh, maybe a strategy to look at or maybe an outcome to look at if it's an IT it might be a coding or a language test it can go anywhere but the point is that if it is given you need to analyze there and there itself Aside from industry specific questions, these example questions are indicative of what you might encounter. So let's say uh, a question comes, what is the degree angle between uh, the hour and minute hand of a clock at 9.45? Thinking? The answer is 22.5 degree. Despite the hour and minute hands being in roughly the same position at this time, in a quarter hour, both hands move. There are 360 degree in a circle or in a clock terms 12 hours. Therefore, there must be 30 degree for every hour. 360 divided by 12 at 9.45, three quarters of an hour have passed on the clock. So the degree angle between the hands on the clock is 30 multiplied by three quarters. To show your workings, you would present it like this. 30 multiplied by 3 fourth is equals to 22.5 that's the answer let's say if a question comes what is 175 into 186 it might come so the answer is simple 32,550 how you must show how you came to the answer long multiplication jotted down for example might be a, a way that you know so bring about that as relevance an example, how many lamp posts are there in London? You can use your brain and say the idea is to use a logical approach in the hope of getting to within perhaps 30% either side of the correct answer and then show or maybe speak out loud 
your calculations. So uh, I hope you remember the 30 percent either side here and there, right? Okay. Uh, why are doors rectangular? If this sort of question comes, this type of question tests your creativity and problem solving. So what are the skills involved? You know it. The employer is unlikely to have any kind of preferred answer in mind. So they are waiting to hear how you structure your thoughts. As simple as that. So another question of this type might come. How many tennis balls can you fit into a Ford Fiesta? Where the candidates are provided with details about the size of the ball and the car size, Fiesta size or not. It is immaterial. They should be able to explain how they would come to an answer. They could demonstrate how they would do an equation using the volume of the car and the diameter of the ball. The interviewer is looking for the way the interviewee is thinking. Here, those who ask whether they can indulge the glove box and any space where the spare wheel sits will be the ones who are noticed. It's all about whether the candidate is able to think laterally or not. So essentially, you should also have a car to think about it. And it's not necessarily those who have cars might give you the correct answer. It's just the logic. This, let's say another question of this type comes, describe the color blue to a blind person. Tricky. This type of question is again designed to get the candidate thinking on their feet. And coming up with something like a creative answer very quickly, often these questions give the employer a sneak peek of the individual's true personality. Sometimes if the position is with a large company, you may be able to find example technical questions on their website itself. So going through a company is a essential or a must thing. Other websites have example questions by sector that uh, may be useful for practices. I know of one and it is certainly indiabix.com, right? Now, how to prepare for a technical interview? Technical interview preparation is key to being successful. Candidates should not assume that they will know all of the answers just because they have a degree in the subject. In a technical interview, candidates are likely to be asked questions that relate to specific knowledge about the company's technical activities, relate to understanding the technical work required as part of the job, relate to work completed as part of a degree course if this relates to the job applied for, requires candidates to solve actual technical problems that they might face in the job. And the best way to prepare is to first go through all the details provided in the relation to that particular job in jobs description, personal specification, essential skills, desirable skills, anything that uh, I mean, do not leave anything of this, you know, go through all of them. Brush up on any equations you would probably never use in, in workplace, but that you had to learn when studying for your qualification. Do as much research as possible in technical interviews. Job advice websites often provide examples of questions you might be asked as well as technical interview tips. So practice showing your methodology. You might be able to do 90 multiplied by 80 in your head. But for the purpose of the interview, practice reverting back a stage when you would have calculated. For example, 9 eights are 72 and 100, two zeros. So 7,200. So, I mean, whatever, whichever way that you, you know, imbibe, which you take on course, I think that is to be mastered. It's unlikely you will be asked a question you have seen before. As such, have a go at keeping your mind under control when you read a completely new question. Try and replicate interview conditions as much as possible and work on trying to keep a cool head so that you can digest the question and start crafting your answers. Now tips to help you impress. How do you impress upon an interviewer? A technical interview is in essence a standard interview with some additional tasks and questions thrown in. Therefore, it's important that you prepare yourself for the interview itself and don't just focus on the technical side. The employer will be looking for a personable, articulate individual who despite being technically minded is able to present their findings with confidence and in a way that is accessible to others. Try not to get thrown off if you don't know the answer to a question. Take some deep breaths and do the best you can to show how you would approach the particular question. 
even if you won't be able to get to the answer the most important thing is with any aspect of an interview is to be calm and composed is to keep calm and composed it's always positive to ask a few question at the end of the interview you could ask a question about the technical task that was set example if the employer would have come to a, an answer in the same way and take an interest in the method if it is different to yours now if you know you have made a mistake during the interview revisit it at the end explain that you have realized you made an error and ask for a minute to talk them through the correct answer so a technical interview can feel daunting but the employer wants to give someone a job preparing as much as you can will give you the confidence to perform on that particular day remember it's not just a correct answer that counts if you are struggling with an answer stay calm be methodical and talk about the approach you have taken and why you are finding it difficult to get to an answer don't ever act or look at as made up so uh, most important is what you have done what process you have done is always important so being process focused is very important during technical interviews and always remember whatever you are learning in technicalities i think that has an correct application so go back to all your technical education and when you are trying to explain to it to someone maybe think about the application part of it this time you are best prepared isn't it keep smiling and best wishes thank you